Hello, independent artists. My name is Becky. I'm so glad you're here. This is the channel that is all about helping you understand this crazy music business, help you understand the things you need to know so that you can actually earn a living and have a real sustainable career in the music industry. Today's video, I'm going to tell you my eight favorite resources. These are real, legit music marketing experts and I have been in the industry for quite some time and a few of these people I've actually been following for over a decade so you know they're legitimate they have been around a while they put out great content that actually makes sense they give you actionable resources so I'm here to help you sift through all the crazy amounts of gurus out there and narrow it down to just my favorite eight here we go. Number one, Ari Herstand. If you have not heard of Ari, then maybe you're new in the music business as an independent artist. But if you've been in it a while, you should have heard of him by now. He's written a book called How to Make It in the New Music Business, and he just recently released the third edition. I have the first edition. Um, as you know, the music industry is changing constantly. So I'm sure this new edition has all of the new stuff about say TikTok because the version I have from probably at least five years ago maybe more like seven <laughs> uh, probably had nothing about TikTok because it did not exist yet so definitely pick that up plus he has Ari's take.com it's a-r-i-s-t-a-k-e.com uh, where he blogs he has a podcast he posts his interviews that he has with people all over the industry, everyone from music supervisors in the film and TV and sync world to touring musicians to record labels. Great, great resource um, all around. So check out Ari Herstand. My second favorite is Ariel Hyatt. She runs a company called Cyber PR and she is uh, I started following her back when the internet was brand new. Cyber PR was a new concept, so probably about 15, maybe closer to 20 years ago now. Um, she's incredibly smart in the world of marketing, and she worked in PR for record labels. I, I can't remember if they were major or smaller independent record labels, but she was on the ground floor doing marketing and PR for artists that were signed to labels. And then she eventually went out on her own as uh, her own marketing and PR company working with independent small label artists. And this book, um, The Ultimate Guide to Music Publicity is available on Amazon. And this should be in every single artist's library. Um, there's so much value in it, even if you're not concerned with like marketing, there's a lot of things about it that just help you even write your bio for your website, um, help you really refine and define what your narrative is as an artist. This is kind of elementary stuff when you're just getting started and a lot of artists don't go through the process of figuring it out. This book will really help you. You can see I've got some things marked. This and Ari's book should definitely be in your library. Okay, number three, Adam Ivey. Now, Adam is a YouTuber. I believe he was or is a music producer and has been working with artists. Much like me, he just became passionate about helping artists because as much as we love making music, it's kind of frustrating to help artists make music and then have them go, okay, now what do I do? And you end up trying to help them find a way to find their fan base, to market their music that you've both worked so hard on. So I'm guessing maybe his journey into becoming a music marketing guru on YouTube has to do with his experience in working with artists, much like mine. Number four, Amber, I don't know how to say her last name. I think it's 
Harsboro. <laughs> she is awesome. She has a company called Deep Cuts. She hosts master classes on the regular. She does podcasts. Um, I don't think she has a book, but anyway, you can look her up. Um, she used to work in for record labels and was in the business of helping artists promote um, their albums, their singles. So she has a lot of behind the curtain information and strategies that are super, super helpful for independent artists. She is a must to listen to and to watch. So make sure you're following her. Number five, Brie Noble. I love Brie. She is one of the first female entrepreneurs that really inspired me to, instead of just focusing on being a music producer, but to really embracing the world of being an entrepreneur. Her company, um, Women of Substance, I think it started there with her Women of Substance podcast and radio show, uh, which is basically helping women feel inspired and empowered to make music as independent musicians. And she has a ton of great resources. She's also one of the nicest people that I've ever met. So I hope you'll check out Brie, especially if you're a female, but she has a lot of resources that it doesn't matter what gender you are, it's going to be helpful. But if you are a female or female identifying independent artist, you can submit to her radio show constantly. She's always highlighting um, independent female and female identifying artists. So I hope you'll check out Brie. Number six, Indopreneur. Now, I'll be honest, I don't know a whole lot about these guys. I just follow, uh, listen to their podcast once in a while. They have a whole academy classes you can take. But from what I gather from just listening to their podcast, they really are passionate about helping independent artists. They the ones running the whole entrepreneur are working musicians and independent artists themselves. So they, when they're speaking on their podcast, they're just giving tons and tons of information uh, from their own experiences. So be sure to check out Indopreneur. Number seven. Okay. I'm going to admit, I just discovered this guy and now I can't remember his name. Jesse, Jesse, I think <sighs> this guy muse formation, um, if you look, you dig a little deeper into his videos, he has uh, one where he talks about his own experience and the guy has tons of experience working with uh, not just independent artists, but people of all entrepreneurial lines, um, politicians, celebrities, athletes. He helps people understand how to market. And um, I just recently, I'm gonna make a link in this uh, video to the one I just listened to today where I just discovered him that is about specifically about Spotify and how in this year, 2023, we really need to carefully strategize and not get so hyper-focused on certain things. So I really loved uh, what little content of his I've stumbled upon. I think he's really smart. He's kind of funny. So I hope you'll check him out. Okay, number eight, the last but not least because it's me. <laughs> um, anyway, I have a website called empoweredindieartist.com. While I am a music producer and audio engineer, I have been working as a singer songwriter myself for, you know, well, I started 30 years ago and my path led me into the music creation in the studio because I love that part the most. I just finally decided I'm not meant to be an artist. I don't really enjoy performing. I get really, really nervous and really my joy comes from the creative process. So um, as I started producing music for other people, I, just like Adam, I think found that it was really, there were just so many things that I had learned along the way as an independent artist and as a songwriter, and then as a um, blossoming producer, so many things about the industry that I learned that I didn't know, well, a lot of the artists I met had no idea what they were doing. So I felt it almost my calling 
to help independent artists and just basically give them all the information that I've learned. So I have some stuff that is just available for free and I have other deeper dive types of things that are available for either a small membership fee every month or I've got some courses. Anyway, I hope that you'll check out my website as well and subscribe to my newsletter. Uh, once in a while, I will send out some really great valuable um, tips. Just like on today's video, I've got a music release checklist for you that I hope you'll check out if you're releasing music in this new year. You're definitely going to need this checklist because it walks you through all of the annoying things that you don't want to think about besides making music, right? So I hope you'll check that out. Subscribe to my channel and all of these amazing music marketing experts that I just told you about. Check them all out and I hope you have a great year.